Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and I coach people and organizations to play big. And I thought I would do a video today about the new LinkedIn profile uh, because it is a little bit different and it requires you to think a little bit differently of the visuals on the page. So I have that up on the screen right now. And when you take a look at it, on first look, it doesn't look radically different. But notice how the summary area is now part of the opening box. And notice how the screen is somewhat limited in terms of what you're able to see. So what it tells me is, number one, your headline, this area, has to be particularly good. It's going to bring on your company page and the name of the university that you attended. Not telling anyone about the degree, but it's just putting up the, the last university, or the most recent university where you're located, and how many network connections you have. And remember, LinkedIn always limits what they display in terms of the number of connections. You know, I'm someone with you know, 17,000 plus first level connections, and they're saying 500 plus. Now, here's one change that I thought was interesting. Number one is the summary as it initially displays, is limited to two lines. Now, there's the drop down of see more, and then what would normally be traditionally there appears, but you have to hit the drop down. So it says, it's basically saying the first two lines uh, are most important. I'm going to change mine to emphasize my coaching work, and then move down what I have here originally from when the text was full. So I know I have to make a change. Here's another thing that's a little bit different. So it has access to your most recent uh, media posts in one way or another. Who's viewed your profile and the views of your shares? Articles you've written, and my most recent one is the time of this recording, is four steps to getting better results with your resume. And then here's something, again, not obvious. On your most recent experience, it's there in full. But previous jobs, well, you have to use the drop down, right? For anyone to see what's there. So, your most recent job is really what is emphasized. Then the number of people uh, who ha have endorsed you. And what I saw initially, and it's not apparent right now, but it really emphasizes the first three. Now, I've opened this up, but I saw before that the first three items, executive search recruiting and technical recruiting, are the highlighted areas. I'm going to make a couple of shifts here to move up some things because I have a bunch of them that are more relevant given how I've changed my career to coaching. And then they have a few of the, of the recommendations, two right now. Accomplishments, that's there, but notice it's limited. Five publications one certification, everything else is a drop down. So I'm just going to use organization for a networking group I belong to. And that's the one that's there. One certification. Here's the rest of my books. So drop downs are much more relevant on the new page. And then it's a number of, of the groups that I am a member of are listed here. So what it's telling me is, number one, is your most recent job is most important uh, to LinkedIn. Number two is, well, as you can see, if you look over to the side here, they want me to change my photo. I am the like that one. It really represents my business properly. But be that as it may, they're going to ask for updates from time to time. But the biggest change is how they're uh, displaying the summary, uh, where on the they're really showing the first two lines of it, 
which in my case is four lines, but it's not what I really want to promote. So I want to move things around for myself. And I would encourage you to think that way as well. Perhaps the first two lines of your summary is really keyword rich in order to emphasize the fact that it's visually what someone is seeing. So I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I hope well, if you're an executive, I could do one-on-one -on -one coaching with executives. Uh, email me at Jeff Altman, J-E-F-F-A-L-T-M-A-N, at TheBigGameHunter.us. Let's figure out a time to speak so I can, uh, we can see if we can uh, are a good fit for coaching. And then for non-executives, I want to encourage you to visit my website, JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I have curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read to help you find work more quickly. Have a great, oh, I forgot to mention, and you can ask me questions, and I have discounts on my coaching. Have a great day. Take care.